I'm gonna get you some help. I'll be back as quick as I can. I hope you don't die, Ben. Damn it. There's gotta be a first aid kit and some meds around here somewhere. I need to help Ben fast, or he'll bleed out. Alright, let's hurry up then. strange discovery. Tonight we hid in the basement of a clinic. We'll be safe there, said Ben. We're in there before the rest of the group. But it smelled bad. There was insects all over the floor. Shreds of skin and hair. There were hair and skin everywhere. And in the center of the room I could see two dogs dead. Two dogs that were also looking for a safe place, I thought. They fought to death for a piece of rotten meat. And I wondered if we would suffer the same fate. But they didn't fight for him, for the meat. No, I was wrong. In this place, there was nothing that could be put into th the mouth. There was nothing there except for medicine, serum, pills. They fought to the death but died for a drug overdose. They died to become the first dog left with a useless ampoule of morphine stuck between their fangs. Alright. That's cool, I guess. Seems that someone left a message on a recording machine. Oh, god damn it. I'm always tripping on shit. Stay back. The pharmacy is on the other side of the <gasps> Oh my god. Oh, I'm alive. How the fuck am I alive? It's raining zombies. something over here. Hold on, let me get it. Hey, buddy. Oh, shit. Shit. Just get down. Oh, shit. <laughs> and the zombies come with me.
another recorded message of this doctor. How the fuck is this gonna work? Looks like that doctor found what he was looking for. don't you think medicine man this is ironic a hospital full of shadows here a place meant to heal and preserve life it is now a cemetery where the dead refuse to sleep there's so much beauty in, in how our world is ending no one ever could have ever predicted this and it's a side of life only a few of us can get to see it's beautiful and yet most horrible Horrible thing I've ever could ever imagine. I am I'm getting things. Stay. The medical supplies. I oh need shit. To go back. Why didn't you say something? Stay back. So I guess I gotta fall, huh? Oh shit. I should probably run. Yep, I need to run. I really need to run. Fucking zombies. God damn it. God damn it.
this should make you feel better. I think so, Randy. I think I'm feeling better. Although I would have liked to see one of those nurses show up from back in the old days. <laughs> oh, those uniforms. You remember how to do it? If there's gas in it, I promise you I can fly this thing. Bingo! What did I tell you, buddy? If they've taken her to the safe point, from the air we'll be able to... <coughs> find her! Ben, are you okay? I'm a little dizzy, and I'm sad, Randy. I miss my wife. I want to be with her again, buddy. I'm tired of this job. Think at least she didn't have to go through all of this. We're like old men, aren't we? All our talk is filled with the dead. All the people we loved, not around anymore. We're alone. Look, Randy, the safe point. <coughs> you should be able to find it from there. At least I brought you this far. <laughs> ben, are you okay? Ben, Ben, wake up! Silent Hill. No, this isn't how it happened. You weren't here. What are you talking about? Achievement unlocked. Under pressure. Oh shit. Fallen. Ben is dead. God damn it, Ben. He died because of his wounds and found peace in the helicopter crash. He found peace in the helicopter crash, huh? Yeah, that doesn't seem too peaceful. I don't know how I survived, but I'm glad I did. The save point is just ahead, and I'm desperate to find Shannon and Lydia. And Stella is in danger. I have to save her. I have to save them all. All right, buddy. more and more to think about. fragments from the safe point. The new laws lie. It looks overrun. Shadows can't be stopped. Holy shit. I'm actually in the base. This isn't good. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Wait, hold on. I like to pick up every little thing. Salvo. That's one broken ass ladder. We can do it. Never fucking mind. Oh shit.
obviously that was a stupid idea. Fuck yeah. Alright, here we go. I hope no one comes out of there. Sorry, I had to kill your whole family. The safe point is no more than a trap used to hunt the survivors. Oh, more water. Really? Alright, that's a thing, I guess. The safe point is no more than a trap used to hide the survivors. Indeed. How many fucking are these things? supposed to do with that. See what I mean? Thank <laughs> you. 
finally realized what I had to do. Radio broadcast. It's the trap the new law created, pulling in survivors from all over the city. They take people, use them. Why are you still talking? I just want to see what's up there. Never mind. On air. It was all a lie. All of it. There's no safe point. Just in that waiting to catch the desperate and innocent and feed them to vipers, anxious murderers hell bent on flexing their muscle over the weak and vulnerable. Where are my girls? Have, have these men taken them? I swear it, I'll find them. No matter who I have to. Dot, dot, dot. Flashbacks. Hey Lydia, how you doing? You really November 11th, the break after the work, the rain after the fire, the rest after the war, the death after life. Sometimes I feel as if I'm sitting at the edge of a volcano about to erupt. My nerves, the trembles in my handwriting when I write. Everything is inside me as it always has been. Everything's inside me, but there are no times that it, that it decides to show up. My feet hang over, avoid the sulfur and ashes, and the heat over the melting stone starts to tra traverse my spine. It is then when I know that I must go back home with my family. But if I don't do that, it will happen. It will happen whether you like it or not. Like the girls in the forest. It will happen whether you like it or not. It will happen. I don't know why on earth they returned to the mountains. They were warned. Last month I warned them. I told them not to come back. Hell is them. And they are the ones who got to the forest to look for trouble. I can't stop myself from defending it. My homeland. I'm an animal that defends its territory. I'm in charge of the vermin. Finish the job. It's too quiet. We're about to get. Something's not right. We're about to get ambushed. Have they found any survivors? Oh shit! Looks like they found a young woman. A redhead, you know. It's like the goddamn Last of Us. Oh shit!
It's the damn radio that broadcasts regularly the false message that attracts the survivors. It should end once and for all with a lie brought to this dead city. It's like the rat said, we all make choices. These men chose to lie and to kill. They chose the worst in themselves. But it ends now. You tell him, Randall. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Get out of here, Randall. You're cornered. I'm trying, I'm trying. looking door. I can easily break through it. Here! Stay near the door, you bastard! Fuck you. Give me that fucking gun. Don't give me that fucking gun. I don't even want it. What is this? My backpack. All my stuff's inside. That's Stella. <gasps> oh, shit. Sad shit. your clothes. We have to decontaminate you. I'm fine! I'm clean! I promise! I'm sure of that. More importantly, you're a pretty girl. But we have to be sure that you aren't going to bite us. The shower will help us to be sure. Take off your clothes. Dressed. What? How did you find me? 
People who make noise draw up a lot of attention. Hurry up. We need to get out of here. Wayne, what happened to us? Where's Sam and Ben? They're all dead, Stella. But they said this was somewhere safe. That they put us in quarantine. That Seattle... You've just seen it with your own eyes. Seattle is dead. That blood in your saliva is the only real thing we have left, Stella. Now, have you seen my wife and daughter? Shannon? Lydia? No, Randall. But they have people trapped all over. They could be here somewhere. Come on, let's go. We've got to find them and leave this place. I really hope I don't have to, like, work with anyone. Because I don't really... I don't really do good with... There has to be a button. I'm not walking out there. Alright. Let's go. What was your favorite baseball team? The Black Sox? Shut up, dumbass! All the sellouts from that team are dead, just like the others. Oh. Open the door, open the door. Good job, Stella. Let's go. I need help! God damn it. Don't worry, I'm here. kidding me now let's go all right let me go first ah! help me Randall like I said quit fucking yelling we'll get caught because of you I like to be a lone wolf and not work with others. So that's just me. Alright, how are we gonna do this? Locked again, Wayne. I'm sure this door opens from the other side. Turn off the power if we want to move on. Dad. Somebody has used this door recently. Send reinforcements to check the generator area. Oh, shit. Um. Just give me a little bit, alright? Shit. 
Hurry up, Stella. Taking God knows how long. The power generator. Oh. If I turn this off, all hell will break loose. It'd be my pleasure. Stella, why can't you pull yourself up, you fucking weak bitch? Sorry. But, I mean, come on. It's a goddamn zombie apocalypse. You should have done some pull-ups or something. Shit. Get off, get off. Let's go, Randall. Hasta la vista, baby. Uh, 
Oh, I know what I have to do. What? Shit. God damn it. Still on. Shut up. March 26th, uh, 17 military time. I went down to, this, to the city and tried to speak to some of the men, people running, gathering around, and stepping on each other. There are hundreds of suitcases and memories of, on the side of the road. People pile up their cars by the road that leads to, to the Hope Aerodrome. There's military everywhere. They're trying to organize the families and making them pass through the control points. It's terrible. I saw how they killed an old man from the town right in front of me as desperate cries of his wife and two sons were rang out. A dark barked when he walked by it. There was something in, his, in its eyes, in the eyes of an animal, as if it detected or smelled something that would only a dog can sense in a human. They undressed him. He had a chest injury, which he tried to hide with all of his strength. A gunshot to the head, and his life ended. What should I do? Shot off all those in authority believing in the words of those liars, or should I escape into the woods with my wife and daughter? I don't know what to do. I don't know what the best for us. I need to go back. I need to take care of the problem. In my own way, I must find a solution to all of this. I'm desperate. I need to breathe, and I need air. My head is going to... It's going to... Stella. What's happening, sweetheart? What's happening, Daddy? No! 
Don't you get it? You have a choice. We all do. Choices that define us. Choices that tell us who we are. You can't give up. You can't make that choice. It goes nowhere. Choose to be strong for Carla. Choose to be strong for Sam. For Ben. Choose to fight, Stella. No matter what. Choose to live. I should have died with you that day, my daughter. But I didn't. I couldn't bear it. I put it out of my mind, like it never happened. Oh no. Buried the memory so deep, even I couldn't find it. I made a different choice this time, Shannon. A choice I can live with. I'm ready. Please tell me it hit. Please tell me. No. was dead light. <sighs> I... That game was amazing. It was... It was short. Well, not too short, but... <sighs> Sorry, I'm kind of crying. But still, that game was amazing. The ending was, was perfect. I guess his wife and kid did die or something. I don't know. But, yeah.
for making this game. I highly, highly recommend this game. It, I don't, I don't know, it was just amazing. The story, how the game played, it was actually fun and in interesting. So, Deadlight, 10 out of 10. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the series, for those who watched. And, um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.